Hi guys, uh, my name is Prakash and I'm from Technosource Australia. We are a specialist provider of barcoding solutions and uh, we provide on-premise and cloud-based software solutions, electronic signature pad, barcode scanners, warehouse stock control system and time and attendance, etc. So these are some of the solutions we provide and we also have uh, time and attendance and uh, other hardware what you need. We are also partner with Wasp Barcode Technologies of USA who manufacture software and hardware within the barcoding industry. So today we're going to introduce you to inventory cloud system. Earlier Wasp has developed on-premise solution for a number of years and now recently they've introduced the cloud solution as well. This is solution is used in warehousing light manufacturing distribution stock rooms of medical centers or medical clinics any other business that buys stocks and sells parts and products the industries where these solutions are used are manufacturing construction healthcare food processing and distribution import and wholesale distribution carpentry engineering companies and so on. So today we are showing you WASP inventory cloud system. When you log in, you come into your own URL and when you log in, you can go into company details. You can do some settings changes from this screen. Uh, you can also set up alerts and notifications. You can put different units of measures. Uh, you can have uh, five or six different level of price tiers. You can customize the forms to what you're known. That means you can change the field names to whatever you want to call it. Um, you can also set up some views, different views for different users of the screen as to how this looks like. You can modify the column um, and change it as per your requirement. You can also import the data from the Excel spreadsheets or from any other system to Excel and then from Excel to this system. You can also use help menu to get the help. Uh, all information is just directly linked with that. Within this, you have multiple working sites. So you can define a user to be linked to a particular site or you can give access to all the sites. Site means a physical building where all these stock items are kept. It could be your warehouse one, two or three. And location means within the building, you have racks, shelves and uh, bin, bin location, etc. So I'm showing you this uh, menu item here, which is uh, we have all the items shown. If I want to search some item, I can either put it in the description or have it in the item number. So I'm going to scan a barcode here and search your product. I'm scanning a barcode, which is 1308. And if I click on this, it shows me all the items here. Um, I'm on the general tab. I've got 34 in stock. 34 are available to be taken. Uh, there is nothing which I've given on loan to someone or as a consignment stock. There is no customer who has for whose for whom this stock is committed. Uh, also, there is no purchase order available in the system for this item. Uh, you can put item number. You can put barcode number here or alternative item numbers, description, category, all that information. System also has a feature where you can set the item initially by serial number batch number or the date code as i mentioned that you can change the field names to anything what you call it so date code could be expiry date batch number could be lot number and you can track it each and every time you bring stock in or send stock out you can also set up different unit of measurements when you purchase the item when you stock the item and when you sell the item it means you can buy in pallets and boxes and you can sell it in single units you can put different cost price and selling price, um, different dimensions of this item. From the vendor screen, here you define what's your stock supplier and what is the supplier stock stock code or SKU and what is the unit you purchase this in and uh, your cost price and what's the lead time to bring this into stock. You can set up five, six different levels of price for different customers. You can also set up each item to multiple location. You define a primary location and then another location where you are keeping this stock.
and you can also set up uh, alerts and notifications for if this item goes below minimum level then system will automatically send you notification for this location this item has gone below level from the inventory screen it shows you what quantity do you have available and in what location so in this case we have site alz location ar1 quantity available is 34. from the history screen you can check completely complete tracking of this item when was it added or removed at any point of time with the date timestamp and the user which user removed it you can also link up any uh, file pdf uh, or any other thing which is related to that particular item you can link with this attached file you can also create some of the custom fields required uh, which are not available in the system uh, and then you want to record it against that item you can put it up there uh, and call it as whatever different field names so system also has assembly feature where it is like bill of material where you can track raw material which is linked with one finished goods uh, sometimes it is known as bill of material also that feature is also in the system you can also uh, make some kits means three or four items put together becomes one kit item and you can keep it ready to be sold as kit uh, you can also use the labor uh, charges or the service time what is being uh, assigned with that particular job here you can uh, see all these transactions you can add stock you can remove stock you can adjust the quantities from time to time you can move from one location to another location also has a basic feature where you can temporarily check out that item that means somebody is borrowing it and you are expecting it back so you do check out and then when it is returned then you do check in from the history for any item you can check the history of that particular item so to add stock you have both the options a very very basic option of adding stock just by scanning barcode or you can also create a purchase order in the system and receive stock against that purchase order so it is optional to you so from the product screen you can see build orders building order is for assembly items which i just explained to you it's kind of bill of material from the purchase screen you can create purchase order uh, and when you receive stock you can receive stock against the purchase order now for all of these operation which is adding stock receiving stock or scan picking you can use it using mobile pda scanner uh, or a simple corded or cordless scanner we'll show you the mobile operation uh, later on in this video uh, but we'll continue with this now so with the pick order you can create a new customer order in the system and then you can dispatch stock against the customer order so all the uh, pick order can be opened using mobile device and all the stock can be picked and packed and then dispatch it using mobile device as well from the lookup screen we have various sites and locations as i mentioned earlier site is a physical building or a warehouse location is uh, a particular bin location or rack location within that you can also create uh, location zones so that when you are going to pick the stock you can pick from those zones different payment methods uh, manufacturers customers shipping company details for adjustment you you need to provide some reason code if you're adjusting the stock system also has a feature where you can do cycle count or stock count or stock takes stock takes uh, once you do the audit you can then re uh, uh, generate the report the variance reports and afterwards you can re reconcile the data there are also uh, built-in many different reports available in the system which can be uh, just customized as well uh, with your requirement as you can see there are various reports so if you need to generate a report for in this example we'll generate inventory by location report so we'll go into inventory report and we'll go inventory by location we can either filter this report by any of these fields available or we can design the report and customize that what columns we want and what we don't want 
or simply we can run this report. There's also a feature available in the system where you can schedule the report for a particular day and time. And then at that day and time, the report will be sent via email to the respective people who have been mentioned there. So for the time being, we'll just run this report just to show you there. So that's our inventory location report, uh, which has all that information. And if I needed to customize this report and remove this primary location column, we can go in the design section and remove the column uh, and user can do it himself. I can export this report into Excel format or PDF, uh, and then we can play around in the Excel if at all we need to uh, modify this report to some extent. So you also have separate roles and users within the application. So you can create multiple roles and you can make user part of that role so that whatever work is required to be done by that particular role um, or the job profile, uh, those functionalities can be given. For example, if I'm just clicking on this trainer role, we'll see that these are the people, this trainer will be able to access these sites. You can restrict that particular role to access only particular site. And you can say that only Angelo is part of that role or any other user you can make part of this role. If I go in here, I can see the permissions. These are the actual uh, functions within the application that what this particular role can do or not. Um, allow access, create, modify, delete. As you can see, there are different type of job functionality or the, or the feature functionality available, which you can create and then save it. And once it is done, you can then assign a particular user to that role. So there are user here. And if I click on my user here, you can see that I'm assigned as an administrator and then it'll pick up the information from there. So for those customers who need to link WASP Inventory Cloud WMS system with their accounting applications like Xero, MYOB, or ERP systems like SAP, Microsoft Dynamics, NetSuite, Oracle, we can build an interface through API link provided by WASP. You can link any tables like inventory, purchase orders, sales orders, invoices, etc. And each and every interface will be built as per the customer's requirement. You can contact us in case you would like to build an interface for your application. Okay, guys, so I'm going to show you the mobile operation of this device um, for inventory cloud system. As you can see that this can work on Android and iOS devices. You can load the app from the Google Play Store or iTunes Store and then link up with your uh, database. With this inventory, you can create new item or you can modify any item. From the transaction screen, you can add stock, you can remove stock, or you can adjust the quantities. You can move from one side to another site or location to another location. You can also do checkout or check in. This is a bill of material or assembly items you build. From the order screen, you can receive stock against a purchase order which you might have created, or you can pick stock for a customer order. You can also do stock take, cycle count, or stock audit. When you do an audit, you can define I'm um, in this site and this location and then you can keep scanning the barcode. Okay, so I'm doing an audit for an item, which is item number 1308. It's automatically gone to that site and location. By default, it's showing me there is currently 34 available, but I'm putting in another uh, 16 in the stock. And if I have to put some notes there, I can put it in there. And so that audit is successful. That means I've got the quantity of 16 now. And once I check it in the system, this would update the quantity of 16. That's the settings from the settings screen. You can define what is a working site uh, or you can have unlimited sites there. Um, you can also synchronize the data by pressing download button. Uh, if you are just doing 
um, just the data you, uh, entry on the device. You don't have to press this download button. This is only to update the data from the from the system, from the cloud system to the device. For further details and to book an online one-to-one -one demo, please visit the link below. Or if you have any questions, you can call us on 1-300-300-344 or you can send a message on our email sales at technosource.com.au. Thank you.